everyone, hello and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel. Today we're back with even more Too Hot to Handle. At the end of the last episode, Lana had us all do a massive workshop to see how we could try and become more connected with our innermost selves. This is episode 3, chapter 10. Someone's moaning in the bedroom and you're about to join them. Let's see what this is about because it does not sound okay. That's definitely moaning. Is someone having sex in there? You peek around the corner and spot Henri and Marissa are on a bed but they're not having sex. Henri is giving Marissa a massage. Uh, a hi? Marissa opens her eyes and waves you over. Oh hey Amber! Henri here was just working out some kinks in my back. I think I worked myself too hard during yoga this morning. You walk over and watch Henri's hands. Cool, a massage sounds nice. You look like you know what you're doing. I've been told I have magic hands. He shoots you a wink. Want to see for yourself? I'm just about done with Marissa here. Marissa sits up and locks eyes with you. He's not better than me, trust me. I'm an expert on muscles. Sounds like you're offering. That's because I am. Let me give you a massage, Amber. Two tempting offers. Who do I want to give me a massage, Henri or Marissa? We've had a date with Marissa, so I'm gonna go for Henri. You shoot Marissa a regretful smile. Sorry, I've already seen Henri in action. I've got to see what all the fuss is about. Marissa sighs and gets up. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'll leave you guys to it then. Once she's gone, you take her spot on the bed. Do your worst. That workshop stressed me out this morning. My pleasure, gorgeous. Henri's hands start moving over your back, his thumbs grinding into your tense muscles. Also, get a massage was an achievement. You can't help but moan. Oh wow, that feels amazing. He chuckles, moving his hands south, digging his fingers into your lower back. You really do know what you're doing. This is the best massage I've ever gotten. I'll give you a massage anytime. All you have to do is ask. He gives you a heated look, challenging you. But before you can respond, Lana turns on from across the room. Good afternoon, Henri and Amber. I've got an exciting announcement. There will be a black and white party at the beach tonight. Would you please let everyone know? Sure. A beach party sounds like fun. Hmm, what should I wear? I should probably dress my best. Okay, so let's put on some outfits. It actually is very nice to finally be able to change because I feel like we've been wearing the same thing for quite a while. We've got three options. We have this one, which is very nice. This one, which is more my speed. And we have this one, which I think is again very nice, but I'm tempted to go for the racy option. I feel like this necklace could actually work for us. A delicate bracelet. And I think again, we're gonna have to stay away from piercings. It's a shame there's not just like a basic like nose piercing option or something like that. But I think this is the outfit that we're gonna go for and I love it. When you arrive at the beach, the party is already in full swing. Drinks are flowing. We've unlocked an achievement. We've been to three parties. People are dancing. And the mood feels lighter than it has in a while. Jada skips to you and grabs your hand. Finally. I've been waiting for you forever. Let's dance. She stops to give you a once over. Wicked outfit, by the way. Thanks, you too. This is night one of a Justin Free Jada. I'm looking forward to having a good time. You laugh and follow her onto the dance floor. I'm in the mood to let loose. How should I dance? Let's do something sexy. You slowly drop down onto the floor, then rise up, strutting your hip out. You shake your ass while rubbing your hands up and down your torso and end the move with a sexy spin. Wow, you're on fire tonight. You dance for a bit longer with Jada and then you feel two people come up to you at the same time. Amber, wanna dance? Hi, Amber. May I have your hand, love? Back off, lover boy. I asked her first. Who should I dance with? It's been a while since we've done anything with Theo. I wanna dance with Theo. He's got some serious rhythm. You catch eyes with Sarah and smile. I'll catch you later, okay? She rolls her eyes but nods and dances off. Once she's gone, you turn to Theo. He grins, pulling you into his arms. Finally. I thought she'd never leave. You laugh, getting comfortable in his embrace. The two of you sway to the music, bodies flush together, and the sexual tension that's always there between you grows electric. His hard body grinding against yours is turning you on, and from the feel of his hard shaft, you know he's right there with you. As you try to come back to your senses, he leans in to whisper in your ear, Come find me later, love. I might have a surprise for you. He pulls back and winks and then dances off. 
find me later. I wonder what that means, but you don't have much time to think about it because the next thing you know, everyone's setting up for a game of naughty charades. It sounds interesting, so you join the group and sit next to Jada. Oh, ew. All right, everyone, this is how this works. The word or phrase has to be sexy or sex related. First, you hold up your fingers to show how many words, and then you have to act out each word. We know how to play charades, just get on with it. Justin smiles wickedly and holds up two fingers. Two words. Justin nods, then points to his crotch area. For the second word, he starts dancing. That's so easy. Lap dance. Justin gives her an annoyed look before sitting back down. Theo takes his place and grins at the group. I say we take things to the next level. This is for my fellow Brits. He holds up three fingers. For the first word, he starts making a whacking motion. For the third word, he starts walking around with his hands clasped in a prayer. What are you, a priest? I thought these were supposed to be sex phrases. They are, but I don't know any church sex phrases. The two seem so disconnected. Jada suddenly jumps up. Oh, I know, bashing the bishop. The what? All right, it's uh, slang for jerking off. You laugh with the rest of the group and then it's Marissa's turn. She holds up five fingers and then pretends to bake and put something in a stove. Oh, 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 um, putting the bun in the oven. Marissa shows you you're close, but you're not quite there yet. Uh, cookies, bread, cake? Marissa grins and jumps on her toes. Putting a cake in the oven? Yes, it's slang in Spanish countries for sex. Nice job. It's your turn now and you stand up to face the group. What phrase do I want to do? I think we should do Netflix and chill. Because it's Netflix, right? And we just got an achievement, that's the word I'm going for, for taking the game to the next level. You hold up three fingers and then you act out watching TV with a remote and relaxing. At first the group is stumped but then Henri jumps up. A Netflix and chill. <laughs> you got it. Nice one, Amber. You play the game for a little while longer until Theo catches your eye. Once you lock gazes, he motions to the house before getting up and walking off. Looks like he wants me to follow. Seconds later, you get up and stalk towards the house. You hear the water running, so you head for the bathroom. You find a shirtless Theo in there, and when he hears you come in, he turns around. Wow, he is gorgeous. Look at that body. Amber, I'm so glad you came. I've been thinking about you all night. His voice is husky and deep, and when he walks towards you, you can't resist walking into his arms. He leans into your neck and his breath tickles your skin. I was just going to take a shower. Do you want to join me? You pull back and look into his eyes. Only if you keep those shorts on. He laughs loudly, his eyes glittering. Seriously? I'm already tempted to break the rules. Don't make it worse. Fine, fine. If that's what you want, he leads you towards the shower. Right before you step in, you strip off your clothes until you're barely decent. Talk about tempting. You're gorgeous, Amber. Your heart beats fast as he grabs your hand and pulls you in. Instantly, you feel the water drop sliding down your body, cooling your burning skin. When you turn to Theo, he meets you with a smirk, but there's a familiar hunger behind it. Whoa, that is a nice underwear set. What should I do? We could be very cheeky. We could behave ourselves or run out of the shower. I think we should behave ourselves. I don't want to leave the shower. You take a step back, knowing that if you let the moment continue on, you won't be able to keep your hands to yourself. I'm guessing that's a no to be naughty then. It's still a yes to the shower, but we have to keep things PG. Now, hand me that soap, I'll wash your back. Theo sighs, but then smiles. Fine, but you have to promise me you'll ignore the, you know. He shifts uncomfortably. I just can't help it around you. You laugh as you take a covert glance down there and you're definitely impressed. You start scrubbing his back to distract your thoughts. The two of you take your time soaping each other up and the temptation gets too much to bear on more than one occasion. Theo takes every opportunity to tease you and no amount of refreshing water can cool you off. I'm done, love. Should we go before they start to miss us? That's probably a smart idea. But as you're getting out, you bump into Marissa. She does not look happy to see you. Marissa, is everything okay? No, it's not. Amber, did you just lose us money? I hope not. I don't think so. This whole episode, by the way, is called Stirring the Pot, and I think there couldn't be anything more apt. We behaved ourselves in front of Theo, but 72% of people were cheeky and 10% of people ran out of the shower. I applaud both of those groups of people i just straight and narrow even though it was very hard to resist let me know what you think of too hot to handle so far down in the comments below i'd love to know your thoughts this was a spicy episode and it could have been a, a troublesome time 
I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to see more and click that notifications button so you know every single time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.